Welcome to another Fantasy Goodfellows video where we talk about the top 30 wide receiver rankings for week 10. You ready? The Fantasy Goodfellows. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Oh, on the field. All right, before we get started in this week's rankings, let me remind you these are not our rankings. We use a compiler of different sports writers to get these rankings. We're reacting to them. And we hope in our video we show you some stats and some trends that are going to help you with your lineups. All right, you ready? All right, at number one, Stefan Diggs versus the Denver Broncos. Stefan Diggs is an elite wide receiver. If you have him, obviously you're starting him. And it just seems uh, that's what his yardage looks like. And if you look at his TD ratio, he's only had a multiple one multiple touchdown game, and that came in week four. But again, stuff on digs, you're starting him. Now number two, CD Lamb versus the New York Giants. It seems to be that CD Lamb should be the number one target. When it comes to late game receptions, they had a chance to win it. They didn't throw C.D. Lamb's way. I think that hurt the offense, and hopefully they learn from it. At number three, Amonra St. Brown at the Los Angeles Chargers. And again, if you have Amonra St. Brown, that is going to be a starter. There's no question he's a starter. All these rankings are starters, so it doesn't surprise anybody. That's why we're going through these rankings quickly. Number four, Keenan Allen versus the Detroit Lions. What did Keenan Allen do in week nine? Well, he was the 21st best wide receiver, and he only had 77 receiving yards. I think you need your starters to do better than that. At number five, you have Jamar Chase versus the Houston Texans. This could be a shootout. But if you look here, there's some games where Jamar Chase has disappeared. And I think this is one of those games, 41 receiving yards. We thought the Cincinnati Bengals were rolling, but Jamar Chase is not. At number six, DeAndre Hopkins at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I've been down on DeAndre Hopkins all season. The only thing that I want to point out here is he was the number one wide receiver in week eight. But what has he done besides that? He's not. And I think that's where DeAndre Hopkins He's not a starter, in my opinion. And number seven, Brandon Ayuk at the Jacksonville Jaguars. What has Ayuk done? Well, he's been steady. He's been steady. Let's see his touchdowns. Remember, he's a, a, a run and ride receiver as well. And he's not getting into the end zone. And I think it needs to change, especially when it comes to this late season uh, matchups. At number eight. Debo Samuel at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, if we want to look at Debo, we have to look at his graphics. Debo has been injured and hasn't really been playing what to expect with him. It's, it's not. And I think Brock Purdy has to light it up. One of these days, you have to have a three-touchdown game, a four-touchdown game, you need that. At number nine, T. Higgins versus the Houston Texans. Now, I know some people are down on T. Higgins. What did he do in week nine? Well, he had 110 receiving yards, and he was the 12th best wide receiver. That's looking better if you're a T. Higgins owner. And don't forget, you got Boyd over there too. At number 10, D.K. Metcalf versus the Washington Commanders. This is where I don't understand about this offense. You got some elite wide receivers, and you got Geno Smith, who's – a veteran quarterback, they just are not cutting it. I don't know what's going on up there. At number 11, Adam Thielen at the Chicago Bears. Now, Thielen had an off game. We were dependent on him. And if you look at his yardage, that's the look at his yardage, and that's his TD ratio. So he's kind of dropped off a little bit. At number 12, Mike Evans versus the Tennessee Titans. Now, Mike Evans had 87 receiving yards, but no TDs. And if you look at his TDs compared to win, he's he still gets into the end zone. So it just he's not having those multiple TD games. 
At number 13, Nico Collins at the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, Nico had 54 receiving yards, one TD. He's been an elite wide receiver this season. He's been productive, and that's what you want from some of your uh, second wide receivers. Number 14, DJ Moore versus the Carolina Panthers. 44 receiving yards. So if you look at his rankings, it's kind of disappeared now that Justin Fields is gone. So what's going to happen this week if Justin Fields returns? Well, you hope that he improves. At number 15, Calvin Ridley versus the San Francisco 49ers. You know, Calvin Ridley being added to the Jacksonville Jaguars was supposed to help that offense tremendously. It hasn't really happened this season. They seem to have regressed a little bit from last year. Calvin Ridley has won some fantasy owners some games, but he's not been consistent. At number 16, Michael Pittman Jr. at the New, or New England Patriots. And I've said if Garden Minshew starts, everybody should feed. And it hasn't played out like that. But Michael Pittman had eight catches for 64 yards. You expect more from that. That's Alexa talking in the background. Uh, number 17, Garrett Wilson at the Las Vegas Raiders. If you look at uh, Garrett Wilson, I think he could have caught a TD. He might have missed one, dropped one, something, but he had 80 receiving yards. He was the 30th ranked wide receiver in week nine. At uh, number 18, Tank Dell at the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, Tank Dell was your number one wide receiver in week nine. He did that with 114 receiving yards, two receiving TDs. And if I don't know much about Tank Dell, I'm going to look at his rankings. So he's been all over the place, not really played a couple of those games. But can Tank Dell turn it up? At number 19, Tyler Lockett versus the Washington Commanders. This is where, again, I just don't understand this offense. 32 receiving yards from an experienced wide receiver like Tyler Lockett. Not cutting it for fantasy owners. At number 20, Christian Kirk versus the San Francisco 49ers. Christian Kirk was supposed to, again, just like Calvin Ridley, he's supposed to have a tremendous season. And it's really not really been playing out like that. He's had about 80 yards four of the eight games he's played. And he's been in the end zone three times. At number 21, Terry McLaurin at the Seattle Seahawks. Terry McLaurin was an elite wide receiver last year. He's been successful. He's had 73 receiving yards this year. And let me see. Oh, here you go. For the season here, he's had one. He's the 24th ranked wide receiver. Oh, no, that's for 2021. I'm going to have to adjust that. So we'll go to those stats for the next video. Uh, for 22, we have Chris Alave at the Minnesota Vikings. Chris Alave, what did he do last week? Well, he got into the end zone. That helps him. 46 receiving yards. He was the 14th ranked wide receiver. If you look at his rankings year over year, he week over week, He's not doing it. So he might have been a high draft pick, and he's not cutting it. At 23, Amari Cooper at the Baltimore Ravens. What Amari Cooper? He was the third best wide receiver in week three. He did that with 139 receiving yards, one receiving TD, and that was all due to Watson returning. As long as Watson plays, Amari Cooper could be very successful. At 24, Marquez Brown versus the Atlanta Falcons. Now that Kyler Murray is expected to come back, do you think that all these wide receivers or these positional players will succeed or do well? You hope, but I don't think Kyler Murray's the answer. He's going to be rusty. At 25, Jerry Judy at the Buffalo Bills. And the thing about Jerry Judy is, you know, they've, they've had early success in the early weeks and kind of dipped off a little bit. And you can tell that... That's kind of trending down in my opinion. But Jerry Judy is a, a very good wide receiver. And you got Russell Wilson. Are they going to be affected by their poor ranking? 
Uh, number 26, George Pickens versus the Green Bay Packers. Pickens it did not do anything. How does a wide receiver end the game with a negative receiving yard? Deontay Johnson returned and had 90 uh, re receiving yards and one touchdown. So even though Pickens was supposed to be benefited by Deontay coming back, it didn't happen. At number 27, Chris Godwin versus the Tennessee Titans. This is where, you know, sometimes I just don't understand that you have two Tampa Bay wide receivers in the top 30. I just don't think that offense creates enough firepower. At number 28, you have Kirtland, Cortland Sutton at the Buffalo Bills. Now, again, I've been mentioning that will Denver, with their poor um you know, with their poor play this season and the, you know, terrible, um, I don't know, they're not winning any games, so that's going to catch up to them. At 29, Jordan Addison versus the New Orleans Saints. I think this is where all of a sudden you have Kirk Cousins disappears, Joshua Dobbs comes in, he wins the game, but Addison kind of disappears. Some people were talking that, how do I not have Jordan Addison? And I think that's because he's that, that offense is not doing well now. And at number 30, Devontae Adams versus the New York Jets. Now, I've said this, the New York Jets defense is pretty good, and they kind of shut some people down, so it's going to be interesting to watch. But Devontae Adams is getting frustrated with that offense, but they did say ever since they fired their coach, he's much more happier. And that is the rankings for the wide receivers. Now, before I leave, I want to show you one more thing when it comes to wide receivers. And that is what was the stats? I'm going to show you the stats. So if you look here, if you're looking for some key players to pick up, you got people like Tank Dell, Noah Brown, Amari Cooper, you were your top three. Deontay Johnson was not on the predictions for this week's rankings. You got Dotson from the Washington Commanders on there. Terry McLaurin was on there. You know, so you just kind of scroll through. Odell Beckham Jr., Wandell Robinson, Cedric Wilson made a, 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 an appearance on a poor week. Uh, Rasheed Rice got into the end zone. So this is what it looks like if you're looking to pick up some key people. Uh, I don't know how many team league you're in, but these are some standouts when it comes to this past week's rankings of what they actually did. All right, that is the top 30 wide receiver rankings for week 10. Like always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and good luck, fantasy owners, to this week. The fantasy good on the field. Good job.